As I was nearing graduation, I thought I was going to get a job as a data scientist right out of college and earn $120,000 plus a year. While this pipe dream did not end up working out, I did end up getting a high paying job for my area where I'm able to support myself and pay off my student loans within the next year. While there was definitely some luck and good timing involved, I did learn a few things in the process of going from a statistics major to a full-time employee and I was even able to negotiate my salary a little bit higher than what they were willing to offer. As I started to near the end of my college journey, I realized something very important that I was lacking. I didn't know shit. So I started applying like crazy to positions that would teach me something valuable. And what better place to learn something valuable than school. Yes, that's right. I took a research position. I got an email from my math department at my school and they were looking for math related majors to fill a research position. Now the email didn't go into too much of a description of what this position would be. So I applied anyways. And to my surprise, I got an email back within a week saying, yeah, let's meet up. Let's talk about what the position will be and let's talk about your qualifications and we can figure out if it's a good fit. And after that meeting, I talked about my experience, mainly working in R and using statistics and using different statistical methods to do analysis. And it was perfect. It was exactly what they were looking for. It was a manufacturing position where I'd be analyzing data coming off of machines and trying to figure out when is the machine going to go down or when is the process going to kind of go out of whack and using statistics to do that. And there was one big caveat to this, which to me seemed killer at the time, but I had to learn Python. I had never really used Python up until that point. I was mainly using R, but I got to learn Python and I got to do data analysis using Python. So that was a valuable skill in itself. But as I was nearing the end of the summer during this research position, I realized, you know, maybe companies don't really care too much about research positions. Sure, it's great experience and I got to apply the skills I was learning to an actual problem instead of just working on homework assignments and turning in projects in school. Yeah, that's definitely a leg up on some of the competition, but it's not the final step. So I started to apply to a few internships. Crickets. So I applied to a few more. Still didn't get a call back. And then finally I thought, okay, maybe I just need some more volume here. I readjusted my resume. I sent out over a hundred applications to internships for the summer. I started with data science positions and data analyst positions. I was applying mainly at big companies. That was the start. And then I realized, you know, maybe I should expand my search because maybe these companies don't like me as much as my grandma does. And I wish I was exaggerating. I did apply to over 100 internships, but finally I got a call back. No, it wasn't a data analyst position. No, it wasn't a data science position. It was for an IT role. Now this one I just applied to because in the job description it said experience with R is nice, experience with Tableau is nice, but I didn't really know what that meant. Oh, hey, real quick, check out the two links in the description. One is to my Discord and one is to my newsletter. I talk about becoming a data analyst there all the time. So if you want more information on that, definitely sign up there. I've worked a lot with R and through my school, I also get to use Tableau a little bit for some data visualizations and things like that. But I got a call back almost a week later after applying to this job. I had an interview for this job. It went really well. They asked me about my experience and why I would you know, want to take this one if my experience lies in data analytics. And of course, me being me, I have to come up with a good answer for that. So I said, well, if I want to be a data analyst or a data scientist, I think it would be great if I could learn these tools inside and out and you know, take in a variety of tools, not just R or Tableau, but a bunch of different ones learn how they actually work and learn how they fit into a big company. And I guess the people interviewing me liked that answer because I ended up getting this internship. So I was a software testing analyst at this big company and I still didn't really know what that meant. But as I started this final summer before my last semester of school, I got to see what that means. I got to test Tableau, I got to test things in R, I got to test things in Python, a bunch of different tools that this big company used for various parts of the data analyst and data scientist process get to learn I did. I got to learn these tools inside and out and how they fit into a big company. And this was extremely valuable. But my managers there at the time knew that, you know, my end goal was not IT. My end goal was to be a data analyst or a data scientist and work with analysis on a daily basis. And they were great managers and they worked with me a lot. And there was somebody else in the company in the data science and data analyst field that was looking for some help on a project. They wanted to kind of build a proof of concept for this analysis tool and my managers thought that I would be a good fit. So they got me into contact with them and I ended up working on this project where I actually got to do analysis for this company. And if it wasn't for that, I don't think I would have ended up getting the position I got. But as the summer goes on and my managers like me enough to extend my internship through my last semester of school, 
So I continued to work on this analysis project and continued to do some IT quality testing on the side. And since I got this great opportunity to work on this analysis project, I really wanted to show that I had the skills to do this full time after I graduated. And that I think I did because the person that was leading that portion of the project really liked me and got me into contact with some people that were looking for full time hires who just graduated school. And so at the end of my final semester, I got to interview for a few different positions for full time positions at the company. And one of these interviews went really, really well. I met with the manager. I met with some of the other managers that work with her. And I got to explain all the different analysis work I got to do at this company. And I also got to say all of the variety of tools that I got to work with and test during my time over the internship. And so I could show these managers and the people that were interviewing me, look, I've already done these things at this company and provided this kind of value here. I think it would be, make a lot of sense if I ended up full time here. And I think they agreed because they ended up offering me a position there. But if you want to see 10 great jobs for statistics majors, watch this video next.